Let me tell you what, you're talking about prayer. And you're talking about revival. Mm -hmm. So can I go ahead and answer the question you're going to yeah. ask me? <laughs> The, uh, the reality is in revival, it, it, the best way is to go back into history is look at Charles Finney. Mm. What most people, everybody talks about, oh, Finney was great, look at these books and all this stuff. But what pe most people miss is Father Nash. Daniel Nash went before Charles Finney. When he went to a city, Nash would go, he would rent uh, a place. He would prefer to stay in the basement of, of a place, of a dwelling that had no windows, so that he could seek God before Finney ever arrived. Mm -hmm. As soon as Finney arrived, he went to the next place. So you cannot have revival without the commitment to prayer. Yeah. And, and what you're saying, Pastor, I mean, that, that is the key. That, that is yeah, the key. Yeah. We cannot, we cannot, and you know, John Kilpatrick, it, Pastor John will tell you how long they prayed and had prayer meetings. That's and right. All night long. And, That's you it. Know, for for long it's time. not that we're trying to convince God. That's no. very key. We're not trying to convince God, oh, please, won't you do something? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's not that. No. What we're trying to do is get ourselves in line, ready to receive. That's it. And that, that's right when on. that happens, that's when we see God pouring out. But we cannot, we cannot just sit back and expect it to, like, magically drop in and, well, okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I just want to come see some signs and wonders. Right. Um, the signs and wonders aren't for the believer. The signs and wonders are for the unbeliever. Yeah. 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 You know, they're signs yeah. to make you wonder. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so that's, uh, what is, so we have to have, I'm so glad what you're saying about prayer. But the other aspect of what you said, Pastor Joe, is what we're seeing. The reason I know this is the Third Great Awakening Pastors are coming together. Yes. Do you realize the streams of ministry back in 2019, Kenneth Copeland was praying, and he said something uh, that really just rang deep in me. And he said it's, he was talking about word of faith. You know, like, I'm, we're not word of faith camp. I ain't, we're not a camp. We're not a camp. We're not a camp. He said it's time for the streams of ministry to come together. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. And I was like, that's it. Wow. Yeah. So that's what we're seeing. What, what you're seeing in a local way right here is pastors coming together that maybe we don't agree on every little right. doctrinal point. Right. 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 We agree Jesus is the Son of God and yeah. died yeah. on the cross for our sins. Yeah. That's where we've got to get to the point that we can walk in agreement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to see God move. Yeah, yeah that's that, excellent. Your yeah. book, you talk about the third great awakening. Is that now? What, yes, we're what, stepped into yeah. it. Mm -hmm stepped into it. We're stepped so it's into beginning? It. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely we're in I it. want to be a part of that. You are. <laughs> yes. you, are. you are. You are. And you know, you talk about, you know, everything you've been talking about this morning, whether it be signs and wonders or answers to prayer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, or pastors getting together. This is all part of the Great Awakening. Yeah. People have a tendency, Jim, to think of revival as just signs and wonders. Um, you know, my friend Lance, and I know he's, he's preached it here. I saw him on your show <laughs> talking about uh, the difference. Where we don't want just a two-week meeting. None of us that are believers want just a two-week, whoo, glory, and then it goes back to normal. Right. We don't, revival is never to go back to normal. No. We yeah. want a reformation, yeah. which Amen. is changing the culture in our